Hi, skiers. I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Uh, we're back here in our Vermont studio after the outdoor retailer trade show out in Denver. Um, great to be back. It's Monday, February 3rd today, um, and today is Line's planned release of these new blade skis. Um, so we've known about these for a little while now. Uh, Line basically contacted us a month or so ago, probably closer to two months ago now at this point, um, and asked us if we wanted to help kind of do some early testing on these skis and to spread the message that they're out. Um, so we've known about these skis for a while. A lot of people saw these for the first time at the Outdoor Retailer Trade Show. Um, a lot of people saw them maybe at On Snow demos in the past couple of weeks. I've seen some kind of leaked images of them here and there. Um, so some people are aware of these new skis, but it's a totally new line of skis from Line. Um, basically a, a, a what I would describe as a wide frontside carving ski. Um, carving is definitely the focus of this ski, if you couldn't tell from that intro video. Um, and as a matter of fact, the, the gentleman featured in that, that intro video line's introduction um, to this ski is, is a good friend of mine named Jeff Curry. Um, I sat with him actually quite a bit at Outdoor Retailer and talked about this ski and talked about his involvement with it. Um, so that was really fun. Um, but yeah, totally new carving ski from Line. Um, you know, if, if you watched our K2 Disruption introduction video, I mentioned that those skis were like carving skis with an attitude. Um, if that is true, then these are like carving skis that are, you know, clinically insane because um, they're, they're really quite unlike anything that we've ever seen before. Um, it's kind of like a blend between uh, frontside skis with metal laminates and then those wild shapes that we've seen in skis like the Sakano or the, or the Pescado. Um, so uh, there are some other skis that from past years, not necessarily from line, that, that this ski kind of reminds me of. Um, but it's really interesting. Very, very wide shovel. Um, you're up in the 150 range in the shovel, and then the, the turning radius is in like the 13 range. Um, and, and construction is really cool too. Um, so as an introduction to this line, we thought we would just kind of talk about it in general. Um, and I got an opportunity to chat with Peter, um, who happens to be Line's design engineer uh, out at the Outdoor Retailer Trade Show. Um, so I wanted you guys to kind of hear about the ski from his perspective. Um, he's somebody that I have a whole heck of a lot of respect for. Um, I met him this past summer when I was out in Seattle checking out the K2 and Line Development Center. Um, and I, I literally walked around the, the arc with him for just the two of us for, for a couple hours. Um, and, and he kind of walked me through like every single thing that they can do with a pair of skis. And it was, it was impressive, not only what they can do, but also his mindset as an engineer, his knowledge of skis and, and how they work um, and, and just all that stuff. So next thing you're gonna see is me chatting with Peter. Um, I apologize that the audio is certainly not as crisp as in here in our studio. Um, outdoor Retailer is a very loud, big space, and the line booth happens to be right smack in the middle and, and is a pretty busy booth. So did what I could with audio. Um, I think it'll be fine. You, you can hear everything we're talking about. It's just not quite as polished as in here. Uh, but check that out. Um, and, yeah, hopefully you enjoy what Peter has to say about this ski. Hi skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Uh, we're here at Outdoor Retailer. I got a special guest with me. Yeah. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Peter from Line Skis, design engineer here. And I'm gonna walk you guys through our all new Blade. Uh, we have the Blade and the Blade W. It's two metal laminate free ride skis for us. They're all new this year. Uh, it's a 95 waist for the men's ski and a 92 waist for the women's. These skis are our take on metal laminate free ride. It's completely different than everything else on the market. Uh, as you can see, the shape itself, really eye-catching, super tight turn radius and really large overall taper angle. What that means is that the waist width of the ski, or, or the tip width of the ski is much wider than the tail width of the ski. So what that means is that at any point in out throughout the turn, you can skid the ski out sideways and it won't lock you into a turn. With that, we also have an extremely tight side cut. Uh, in a 176, it's about a 13 and a half meter radius. It's much tighter than anything else in the market. Yeah. When you get on it, it'll make super round turns. You're gonna really enjoy it. Uh, 
the medal shape you can see is the same on the men and the w or the men's and the women's skis. Uh, it's called gas pedal metal. And what we've done here is we've taken the tetanol and we've biased it across the width of the ski. So what that does is it provides edge grip without making the ski overly damp and overly planted like most of the other metal uh, laminate free ride skis on the market. So when you flex the ski longitudinally, what it does, you, the main thing contributing to that stiffness is the fiberglass. So you, when cool. you think of fiberglass skis, it's freestyle skis, more exciting carving skis. Yep. And then when you have across the width of the ski, the metal, you get really torsional sti stiffness and stability. And it's really damp across the width. So you grip like a metal ski and you flex like a glass ski. Really yep. lively, exciting turn shape. Yeah. Yeah. So for the men's and the women's skis, we've intentionally designed them so that the the size of the turn that it makes is the same for the men's and women's sizes. So the largest size of the women's, the 167, will be the same turn shape as the 181 for the men's. Oh, very cool. And the 160 for the for the women's is the same as the 176 for the men's. So if you have his and hers couple skiing, they'll sure. be making the same turn shape in parallel. It's pretty cool. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it's really fun. Cool. It's so. like, that's a, very, that's a very cute image. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> so I. We were developing the ski with, and my girlfriend was one of the girls that was testing it, and we were turning in parallel, and it was really cool to look at our tracks below the lift, and there were perfect seas like spooning each other all the way down. It was like, it was really sick. It's very nice. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit, pick up a ski, and tell me a little bit about that tail shape. So the tail shape is intentionally eye catching. It's inspired uh, by old school skateboard shapes and a lot of snowboard shapes. Yep. It's intentionally made to look different. It's uh, we were joking. It's to spray your friend's tail. You can spray twice as much because it's got two little points. But really, it's just to make it look super cool. Same with the tip shape. It's intentionally different because it skis different than anything else in the market. Yeah. So Line sent us a bunch of these skis. Uh, gosh, month a month ago. Probably yes. Yeah, Probably a month like ago. Um, and that was definitely our first reaction when they showed up. We were like, this is different. Yeah, exactly. Um, and we've been skiing them for a while. You probably saw some teasers of these skis last week. Yeah. Um, and, and now we can now we can really tell you what we think about them. Yeah, for uh, sure. So thanks, thanks for walking us through it. Yeah, no worries. Um, and definitely encourage everyone to get out and demo the ski. People are like, seem to be really drawn to the ski and then they end up falling in love with it when they actually ski it. So yeah. getting on it, like skiing is believing for these for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this guy's really cool. I, I followed him around their development center yeah. uh, for, for hours this past summer. Yeah. Uh, he made knows, some skis. He knows his stuff. Yeah. He's a super knowledgeable and detail-oriented engineer. Yeah, was, thank you. My take away. I, I appreciate that. Thank uh, you. So thanks, guys. Yeah, uh, thank next you so thing much. you'll see is, is we'll be back in the studio and, and we'll talk about performance. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Bye. So yeah, uh, really cool ski. Um, thank you so, so much uh, to Peter for taking the time out of your day to do that and, and chat about the ski. Um, hopefully you guys found it as interesting as I did. Um, and we have been testing these skis for a while now. Um, if you may, you may know if you follow our channel, but I've been kind of broken. I broke my clavicle a while back. So a ski that, that's this kind of new and crazy with, with a super small turn radius, I wasn't quite ready to get on them and test them myself just yet. Um, but luckily I'm feeling a lot better. And I've had Bob and some other people testing the men's ski and Allie and a few other people testing the women's ski. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them in on a bit of a panel this week. Um, so in a couple days, uh, say this is this is Monday, February the 3rd, um, on Wednesday, February the 5th, look for our men's and women's review. Um, Bob and Allie and I are going are to sit here and chat about it. We're actually going to go ski one more time on them tomorrow morning, get some additional footage. Um, so look out for that. And, and for now, just uh, yeah, get excited about this new ski from line. Thanks, guys. We'll, we'll see you on the slopes.